Hi friends, my name is Ankit Jaisal. I am the CEO and founder of Think My Learning Solution. And today in this video, we are going to discuss how students can clear chemistry one easily. So uh, this I have made it very quickly, and these are the few chapters that I have written. Uh, if you have already done few of these chapters, uh, do concentrate on that. Do the revision of those chapters properly. Uh, do check out the uh, past six to eight years ka question papers, wherein what are the questions. That have been asked on those chapters, and see if you have covered them, uh, covered all of them or not. So if you have missed few of the questions, try to work out, work out on that. And here is the list of uh, the questions that you should surely do, so that you, know, you can at least get uh, try to get 24 in the chemistry paper. So in uh, let's start with lubricants. Now a simple chapter, uh, not very difficult, but then. Uh, you can fetch around 15 marks in this chapter. So the questions that are answered are uh, define lubricants and uh, lubrication and state is function. So uh, function can itself come for a 3 mark question or it can come uh, together with this. Like the question of define lubricants and lubrication and its function is generally seen in every paper. Next important question is uh, there is uh, normally a question seen on uh, a or fluid film boundary and extreme pressure lubricants. So what you can say is discuss the mechanism of thick flame lubrication or uh, what uh, they can say explain a fluid flame lubrication with the, with the help of a diagram. Discuss the boundary flame lubrication mechanism. So this question is generally again seen in every paper. So they might ask any of this. Again those are not that difficult. If you draw the diagrams once once you have drawn the diagram, it's all about you know remembering, uh, remembering eight to ten points. So not very difficult question. Surely go for this. Around the four to five mark question uh, is generally seen on this uh, this topic. Another important, very important topic is define and significance of velocity and velocity index, flash and fire, fire point, cloud and four point, uh, saponification value. So generally, a question on this is again seen for around uh, 6 marks. So what they will, uh, they will state any 3 of them and then you might have to define and state give the significance of those properties. So do the definition part very properly. See you should not uh, define that in your own words. Whatever is given in the statement uh, in the textbook try to define it as it is. Okay. So give us exact statement that has been mentioned in the textbook and then give the significance. So define, lie, write one, one line definition Then you can, if, if there is a possibility of explaining that, add two to three, uh, three points. So make it four points for definition and the significance two points. So see, if it is asked for six marks, each of them will carry two marks. So for two months, at least four points are needed. So definition has to be very proper. Try to give at least two points in definition. One will be definition, one can be an explanation to the point, like what is viscosity and all. Okay. And another another important thing is significance. Okay. A straightforward question, define and significance on any of this can be asked for around six months. So any three will be asked, and it's again a very important question. When Another important question from this chapter is sums. Very simple sums from this chapter are asked. One sum will surely appear in the paper. Okay. So uh, the sums are normally on support, uh, support indication value. Okay. You can just check out uh, check out the textbook which you are uh, textbook or the book which are whichever you are referring, and see the problems they which can fetch you around four to six marks from this. Okay. Another few another few important topics from uh, this are. Classification of lubricants only names. It has not been asked, but it can be asked for three marks. Okay. So classification of lubricants and then there are three classifications. In that solid lubricant, semi-solid lubricant, or uh, semi uh, solid lubricant with any two examples, semi-solid lubricant with example can be asked and it has been asked in the paper. Not very important question, but then it can come for around four marks. Okay. Uh, one question that was seen in the paper is what is grease? What is the condition in which grease are used? It is a semi-solid semi lubricant. Okay, so that was a question uh, that was asked. 
Then another exam, another exam question was what are solid lubricants? Explain with two examples and discuss the condition under which semi-solid lubricants are used. Uh, what are the conditions for use of solid lubricants? Explain the structure and use of graphite. Okay, so these were the questions that have been asked. So uh, try to do at least you know what are solid lubricants or I can say what are semi-solid lubricants and one two examples. So in examples of solid lubricants, you can do grease. An example of uh, uh, semi-solid lubricant, you can do grease. So solid lubricant, you can do graphite. Do this part and this part for sure. You now a question on this can come. Problems are very important again. You now you should not miss out on problems. And then this topics. Okay, not very important, but then one question can appear from that. Then phase two again a very simple chapter. Uh, see there are around two very important questions from this chapter, and then uh, three very important questions, and then few small questions. Uh, uh, one of the first important question is what is the uh, Gibbs phase rule? Define phase component and degree of freedom. Definition again has to be very proper, exactly as it is written in the textbook. Uh, try to give exact definition. Define phase component degree of freedom can be asked for three marks or six marks. Okay, for, if it is for six marks, you have to write at least. Four points for each, whereas for uh, three marks you can write one to two points. Okay, definition each definition can carry one mark. So exact definition can fetch you directly one mark. There are times when it's mentioned uh, what is Gibbs phenomenon, uh, Gibbs phase rule. So you have to give that one. Another important topic of fixed question that is generally seen is what a system, phasor diagram, and then all the points on the curve. So they can even ask you specific points and uh, you know try to give uh, 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 try to explain that also. But then a question on water system is generally seen. So you know the questions from water systems what they have asked. What are triple point? Explain with the uh, it with reference to one component water system. Okay, this was one question. Uh, then what is what is phase rule? Draw an eight table diagram of water system. Uh, using phase rule, find the number of uh, uh, degree of freedom. Okay, from this topic, uh, phase component degree of freedom can be you know asked for a few of the equations or a few of uh, a few of the equations I can see. Okay, so again you should you know uh, know to calculate phase component degree of freedom. Once you do the definition, you can uh, you can you can calculate that easily. Another question on water system was uh, with the uh, draw on each phase uh, phase diagram of one component water system and explain with reference to curves. Triple point. Okay, then uh, draw the phasor diagram of one component water system. Explain triple point. So triple point is very important from that. But then try to do now uh, water system very properly. A six to eight mark question can come from only water system, uh, water phase system, water system phase. Another important question is lead silver system. Like this is one component system. This is two component system. Again everything like phasor diagram, all the points of this are also important. Water system. No, hundred percent question will be there. Lead, silver, you know, seen in very less papers. Okay, one question from water, so water system will be there. Either draw the diagram or, or in that way, or they might you know tell you to specify uh, like what are triple points in in that way. Lead silver system not very important, but then you know in two component system if they want to ask they will ask lead silver system for me. So try to do that also. At least the phasor diagrams and all the components of that. Next, uh, uh, there is there was now there are few small questions. Uh, reduce phasor uh, phase rule. Okay, so what is reduce phase rule? That has been asked. Pinelands system again a very important question. Generally seen for three marks. Uh, application of first and second, one and second system. Okay, from phase rule, these are few of the important questions. Water pressure system. Uh, is important. Define phase component and degree of freedom is important. Lead silver system is important. Pinelands system is important. Okay. So uh, this is about three zone. Now coming to engineering materials. Engineering materials. Portland cement is again very important question. One question from that is below hundred percent there in the paper. So what can be questions? Uh, questions can be manufacture of Portland cement, or uh, they can ask for chemical company uh, composition. Or cycling and hardening of Portland, uh, uh, Portland cement, function of the Gibson. Question uh, normally on manufacturing and chemical composition is generally seen in the paper. So uh, what they what they ask is Portland. Mm. Yeah, draw the neat paper, uh, neat diagram of rotary, uh, rotary, clean 
in the manufacture of food and semen and mention the reaction in each zone. Try to do this question properly because no, that is the that is the one question uh, which is generally seen. So explain manufacturing of food and semen with a with a neat table diagram of a rotary tree. Okay, so this part is very important. So, a manufacturing of this a potent cement uh, on almost uh, in a, every paper a question is seen on this. Uh, then, another very important question where you can now see is preparation properties and use of silica bricks, diorite bricks, and carbon silica carbonate. Do this very properly. What you have to do is preparation properties and use. Write the equations once and twice. Try to buy hard it in any way. Okay, but then try to write the equations very properly. Uh, 2 to 4 properties and 2 to 4 uses okay, e of each of them. Remember maximum code, don't no, try to remember a lot of things because already you have to remember a lot of things. So, 4 points of properties, 4 points of use and uh, preparation. Silica bricks, geolite bricks, uh, silica carbide. 2 will surely appear in the paper. Okay, a very important question. Next important question is you know, uh, what are uh, carbon nanotubes? Uh, carbon nanotubes and uh, laser metal or CVD metal. Any of this metal can be asked. One question again on this is generally seen in every paper. So uh, the, what, what the question that I will ask is what are carbon nanotubes? Uh, describe the laser metal of uh, preparation of CNT. Okay, this is one of the questions. Uh, another question can be what are carbon nanotubes? What are their types? Discuss their electrical and mechanical properties. Okay. Uh, what are carbon nanotubes? Uh, discuss the CBT method of preparation of CNT. Write a uh, brief note on CNT. So these are the uh, questions that have been asked. Uh, moreover, manufacturing of food and very important preparation properties and uh, uses of silica, uh, silica bricks, uh, dolomite bricks and silica carbide very important. And uh, what are CNT? Laser method and CBT method are very important. Then next coming to water, sums of water is very important, around 12 to 13 marks sums on water will come, you know, if you attack uh, the sums of chemistry work, you can fetch around 15 to 16 marks, okay, if you do all the sums properly. This will surely help you to score well, sums, first type is a bit easy, second third type, if you understood the theory part, it is very easy, okay, so, Sums are again not very difficult. Yeah, it's a bit difficult, but are not very difficult. So once you understand one sum, you can do any type of sums. So there are around three to four types. Generally, two to uh, there are already three sums are asked from this chapter. So around four uh, four type of sums, three will surely appear in the paper. So one one question, one type of uh, one type of sum is from zeolite method. One is from iron exchange method. One is from uh, COD and other is from dye soda. Okay, so these are uh, so if you see uh, the sums from the textbook, you can understand. Now another uh, important questions from what are zeolite method? Okay, uh, generally in every paper there is a question on zeolite method. Another important topic is ion exchange method. Uh, if they are not asked zeolite, they might ask ion exchange method. But then in 80 percent of cases, zeolite method is asked. Another important question is electro, uh, electrodialysis, reverse osmosis and ultrafiltration. A short note can appear on this. Next important question is BOD and COD. Its significance different uh, or uh, BOD and COD. What are BOD? What is BOD and uh, what is COD? They can ask. Explain significance. Can you? Yeah. And then they might also say, tell you to differentiate between BOD and COD. Then some of COD are very important. Then other, other important question is principle of line soda process and chemical reaction. So if you are doing water, if you have already done what properly, try to do this questions properly. If you have not done, try to do zeolite method, sums of water very properly, and then BOD, COD, its significance, differentiation, electrodialysis, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet. Because I am telling you this topic because this is a very simple topic and a 5 to 6 mark short note can appear from this channel. Now next, coming to polymers. Very important question is give preparation properties and uses of PMMMA. Silicon uh, uh, rubber, Buna S, Calvon, poly uh, urethane, and Becker. So, what they can ask is they can ask any three of this and tell you to you know, give synthesis or properties, uh, preparation properties, and uses of any of this three. So, generally, a six mark question is seen in every paper on this. 
So you should do try to do this question very properly. Next is glass transition temperature and significance. Almost in every paper, this question is generally seen. What is glass transition temperature and its significance? Next important important question is fabrication of plastic. In that, injection uh, molding method is very important. Next important method is compression molding method. So they might tell you to you know what is uh, what is fabrication of plastic. They can ask you that question and uh, then explain. Uh, they might also tell you to state various methods and explain any one of them or they might tell you to explain injection molding method or compression molding method. These are the two methods that are generally seen in the paper. Next important uh, topic is compounding of plastics. Again here they can ask function of plastics, lubricants and stabilizers okay, in compounding of plastics. So very important, this is another, another very important question. Then another important question is natural rubber is drawback again seen in almost every paper. If this question doesn't come, you know, this question, natural rubber needs vulcanization. Uh, give reason. Very important question. So surely to uh, any of this question, like what are natural rubbers, uh, give its drawback or you no, know, uh, natural rubber needs vulcanization. One question fix will be asked from here. One question fix will be asked from here. Glass transition temperature, again a fixed question. Uh, fabrication of plastic, injection, compression. The, any of this one method can be, you know, can be asked as a fixed question. So, what you have written are you know, generally seen in paper. Either you, you know, one of this, uh, at least, you know, if you do see, from this one question, this two questions, one will surely appear. From this three, two will appear. And this, any three will appear for sure. So these are the questions from polymers. Try to do this part very properly. Glass transition temperature and significance very properly. Fabrication of plastic injection very important. So they are they have asked injection more times. Next is compression. They can ask you compression also. They have even asked compression molding method. And then compounding of plastic. There is a short note. Or they might tell you to write function of plastic lubricants as stabilizer. Stabilizer which comes under compounding of plastics only. So, these are the questions that are, you know, are from chemistry one that I suggest. Uh, mainly if you are looking from clearing point of view, sums will be again very important, which are fetched around 15 to 16 marks. Uh, then, uh, you know, define uh, lubricants, lubrication function, take fluid flame, boundary, extreme, pressure lubricants, define and significance of this, okay, water system, phaser diagram of all points, here you will define phase com uh, component and degree of freedom. Okay, thus you have to do then manufacturing of Portland cement very important. CIT laser method and CVD method very important. Reparation properties and uses of silica bricks, dormant uh, bricks and silica carbide very important. Then coming to here sums of water, zeroid metal very important. COD, UOD its significance, differentiate, uh, differentiation very important. Electrodialysis, reverse osmosis, ultrafiltration very important. Give preparation and properties of this. Any three will surely be asked. Last transition temperature and significance very important. Injection molding method very important. Natural rubber one question will surely appear. And then compounding of plastic either short term or they might ask functions of plastic lubricants as a stabilizer. So these are the questions that I suggest first from chemistry one. Uh, uh, see even. If you know you are not able to write a lot of questions, try to attempt as much as you can. Okay, at least you know give uh, write something so that professor can give you some marks if you have written something. Okay, don't leave the paper blank or don't get up early and come outside within an hour or so. Try to sit for two hours. Try to write as much as you can. You know whatever you know at least. Okay, give your best and try to you know score that magical 24 okay uh, that's it from my side we'll see you in the next video